Can you play some rock and roll? garbage bags. So all you have to do is just cut the garbage bags on the seam line and just lay them on your sink and you're good to go. Before we actually start doing the color, you need to protect yourself. So get your petroleum jelly and you want to make a nice, good, thick coat and make sure not to get the hair that you're coloring and you want to make a nice, good coat on your skin because for some reason I always get color all over my face and I'm going out tomorrow so I can't afford to have color over my skin. So just go as close to the line, the hairline as you can without getting it on the hair. And one little tip, put some Vaseline on the insides of your arms because whenever you put color on, sometimes you slip and the brush and it gets on um, and it gets on your skin. Make sure to uh, make sure to put a little bit of acetone on the inside. Okay, here comes the fun part. We're gonna start putting the color into the color bowl. I personally recommend so you don't use more color than you should because it's always easier to add more. So I recommend using an ounce of color at a time. And in these color bowls, they have little measurements inside of them. If you can't see that, it's hard to see. But they do have little measurements inside of them. So measure an ounce, then use an ounce. And if you need more, add more. But there's no use of putting more color in the bowl than you need. So you're not being wasteful. Okay, I already put the color in my bowl, as you can see. I'll put about an ounce in there, maybe an ounce and a half. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to mix it around just a little bit. So I know they pre-mixed it, but I always like just mixing it a little bit to make it nice and smooth. Okay, what I'm doing is I, I'm starting from bottom to top, and I'm doing half in sections. And what I'm doing is I'm starting at the root. I already have my color in my bowl. I mixed it up a little bit. And then I'm doing, I went from root all the way, use the back of my hand for support, and went all the way down to the ends, and worked from the ends all the way back to the root. And you're going to do this all the way around to wherever you're doing it. Yes, some people just get a glob of it and put it in their hair. 
Now, that's how you get uneven saturation. That's why some of your hair looks lighter than other parts. It's because you're not evenly putting it on, so it's evenly disputes. All you want to do is go from roots to ends, go back, get another part, do it again. And whatever excess color you have, go through it again. Especially your ends of your hair, because the ends of your hair are very porous. And your ends of your hair are going to absorb color faster than the roots of your hair. So make sure you go over your ends. If your ends look dry, go over it again. And I'm just going to show you how to do this real quick. And then I'm going to show you that at the very end, when you're done, you want to comb through with some kind of comb and comb it through until it gets frothy, until it gets nice and starts making kind of not suds, but starts getting thick. And that's when you know your hair cannot absorb any more color. So that's when you can stop, put a tap on your head, sit under the dryer or whatever you want to do for about four hours. So the longer you let it sit, the longer it can saturate into the hair. So let's get started.